Hello everyone, I'm doing Dragon Ball Super Episode 80, not episode 89, oh my god. Episode 29, my thoughts on it. So there's lots of stuff I have noted on here, so first things first, it's also the intro, or at least what in the Japanese version of what exactly it was well the name. Name actually hinted the fact that the leader is stronger than Goku. At first I thought it was the leader of Champa's team. But it actually is the leader of Beerus's team is stronger than Goku. Hmm, that was interesting. And then, <clears throat> holy frick, it turns out the Super Dragon Balls, which of course previously I guess he said that, but I thought he was talking about their version of Shinron, is as big as a planet. It turns out the Dragon Balls are as big as the freaking damn planet. The Dragon Balls are planet sized. The Super Dragon Balls are planet sized. So, I'm going to talk about it at the end when we get to the point of where Boma wants to do. Because that's just where the part of where what the frick Boma's thinking. <laughs> so, yeah, what the frick Boma's thinking. But, anyways, let's get into it. So, <clears throat> the rules for this championship, or whatever you want to call it, the rules are good. They're basically based off of um, Budokai Tai Inchi or Tenkai Inchi um, rules. And, of course, no killing, which that's the good part. It's like, yeah, if you pick Krillin, at least there'll be no killing. My speculation was going to be the fact of, if they did get to choose, most likely Piccolo, Tien, along with Yamcha, and or Krillin. So, those three notations. I would think Krillin would be out of it, because he's like, whatever. Of course, it'll be cool to see Fat Boo right in there again. So, there's like lots of opportunities, but I'll tell you how many they get to choose afterwards. So apparently the freaking thing will start in a week. For them it's a week. So for our, I mean their week is five days for us. Kind of interesting. So Choppa gives Goku an egg as a parting gift. It also was just a reflex to see how slow Goku is. And he was like, yeah, the slow and dull reaction of Goku. Yeah, it's like they're not going to stand a chance. That's what Choppa said. He was getting so cocky. And, well, the suits were the ones reasons why they were doing it. The reason why he was like that was the suits, but they don't know about that. Vegeta wants to pass them all. He wants to surpass them all with their powers. And his pride is also there, saying that, yeah, if it comes to freaking Ch Champa's team, it will be me who's beating them all. It will be me all by myself beating all five of them. Which, I have nothing to say on that. So, Goku gets to choose the other three, but that's not the thing we thought it was, but apparently it's not. So, oh uh, well. So, Boma gets the task of making a new dragon radar. And she decides to say, yeah, bump that. What we're going to do is actually wish on Shinron for him to find the location of the last Dragon Ball, Super Dragon Ball. That was a dumb move on her part. It's like, yeah, that was a kind of crappy move on your part. Smart, but dude, that's messed up. Anyways, Beerus actually gets hit by Boma. Oh my freaking gosh. Oh, he doesn't deserve it, but on another hand, Vegeta already... Yeah, he kind of already got him back for smacking Boma. So, yeah, she actually gets a chance to hit him, and then after that, it was like, oh my gosh, what have we done? All freak is going to destroy the world. But he brushed it off. He said, meh. But anyways, he did send Vegeta to, I think, gather the Dragon Balls. So, yeah, there you go. Champa and Vados goes home. I think they go home. I think it is home. And they decided to, oh my gosh. It was like, oh my gosh, the Dragon Balls are so freaking damn huge. So freaking damn huge. I'll talk about that at the end, though. Champa names a planet, and he calls the planet Planet with Nothing. That is the name of the planet. My goodness. No imagination. Vitos gives Champa a vegetable smoothie, saying that he should get on a diet and stuff. And he spit out that freaking smoothie because, well, you know. The planet with nothing is the spot where the tournament, or whatever you want to call it, championship is going to be held. Vados actually makes an energy shield with atmosphere of one of their planets. She also makes snacks available, and the ring was made. There's seats as well. There's also pictures of Beerus and Champa. Well, anyways, we get to have Boma have 
a summoning of the Dragon Balls, and oh my gosh, Boma in this frame right here is like, oh, now I remember why you were so hot that one time. <laughs> like, yeah, I remember now why you're so hot. Uh, like, people thought you were hot. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a boy. What'd you expect? <laughs> So Boma actually kisses Vegeta and he dislikes it, the fact that she kissed him off, off guard. <laughs> and, well, like it said previously, which was kind of interesting, it's the fact of, in the Cell Saga, you had only two. It's like, in Cell Saga, you had only two wishes. Maybe I missed something in the Boo Saga, but I thought it was just two wishes. Now they get three. I have no idea how they got to the third one, but yeah, now I have three wishes. And Shinron is shocked that Beerus is there again. And it turns out he can't grant that wish. He needs more power to do it. Especially if it's another universe. And that universe is very, very vast. Unlike the Dragon Balls of Earth, where it's like you're able to find it on Earth, those Super Dragon Balls are most likely around the whole entire universe. Kind of like the freaking Dark Star Dragon Balls. Wait. Ah, never mind. Yeah, that's a silly thing to think about. So, yeah, Beerus is pissed that he couldn't make the wish come true like before. So, he told him to just buzz off, get lost. That's my wish. So, Shinron does it. And then Goku's like, oh my gosh, I forgot to wish King Kai back to life along with the others. And Bulma's like, Psh, you could do that later. I'm like, wow, really? Really? The person who was responsible was saving the world? And the person who trained him to actually help him save the world. And you're trying to tell me that it's not a good idea to restore him back to his actual living self. That is just cold, Boma. That is just freaking damn cold. Well, anyways, Champa might recruit some Saiyans. Champa remarks about the picture that he's not as fat as the picture shows he is. We have <clears throat> Whis and Beerus chowing down. Monaka actually is the main choice for Beerus. He chooses him. Excuse me. And they get to pick two other fighters to go with him. Most likely it could be Vegeta. I mean, they already got Vegeta. It could be Piccolo. That's what I meant to say. Piccolo most likely is one other person that they're going to choose. We know it's Piccolo. Maybe even Gohan. Because remember, Gohan said he's training again. So if Gohan's training is going very, very good, then chances are Gohan might actually be able to fight. Which that would be awesome if he actually gets a chance to fight again. Well, anyways, Goku is intrigued of Monaka, and then we it's revealed that Beerus has that powerful yell as well. Wow. So all gods are able or basically they're twins. I guess they have the same powers. But still I didn't really know that he would actually have that yell too. Anyways, Monaka is the strongest Beerus is faced. Beerus has actually faced. The second place goes to Goku. <laughs> so Goku wants to train with him and fight him, but of course Beerus gets pissed off by this and says, dude, we're it's the other team you have to be worried about, not the person that actually was kind of good when it comes to blows. So yeah, he got a little pissed after that. They got to work. Boma went to work on the radar and basically Boma comes with the idea that I said in the last episode. It's like, if freaking Champa was smart, why not freaking wish back to Earth before it was destroyed? That sounds good. Or exactly what I thought, but you know, I didn't even say wish version. But I would say, why not Weast? Yeah, check out the last video. But still, why not Weast? Gives to her sister Vados. And it's just going to be nothing but food that comes to... Yeah, so it's like a big middleman thing where Champa gets to still have food, but... It's not going to come from your universe. It's going to come from the other universe. But at least the good news, you still get the food. And you don't even have to waste a wish. That was dumb on your part, Boma. But yeah, I guess he could actually... But how does that wish even work? Oh, I wish to have food from the other Earth? Well, how long will that last? Will it just give him one big plate of something and that's it? It seems like it's better just to have that idea of where he's able to have a middleman who will give him the food i'm just saying i'm just saying but bingo on the other part what she said he should have wished for so it turns out that and i might actually have listened to it wrong but i think beerus actually said if he loses he will destroy the earth 
So no one gets to have Earth. If he can't have this Earth with delicious food, no one can. Oh my gosh. And I think because of that look that Boma said she had, she's now fearful of what Beerus is going to do if he gets all six of those Dragon Balls. I mean, all seven of those Super Dragon Balls. Which I guess that might be what is going down, is that if Beerus loses, he has to forfeit his planet Earth. But I guess if Beerus wins... Well, guess what? He gets to have those Super Dragon Balls and wish for something, I guess. I missed that part, but I guess that's what the deal is. So, we have a flashback of showing that Beerus fights and destroys for a reason, not for, like, some weird randomness. But, yeah, Boma is very, very concerned, so that's the crap hole of it. Well, it turns out that Boma has a sister, but we don't even know her name, so... Maybe you guys know her name, but I don't think I've heard her name before. So Jacko got a brand new spaceship. I think he might have got promoted, or at least he actually got some nice little pats on the back saying, good job on what you did on Earth. Here's a new spaceship, and the spaceship is much faster. So Jacko is actually enjoying himself on the planet, but guess what Boma calls? Well, actually, Boma's sister calls, and it's actually a three-way call, meaning that Boma actually hear him when he says, Tell her I'm not here. So she actually, yeah, he tries to ditch her, but he can't do it. And now she actually uses Vegeta saying, well, if you don't come here, Vegeta's going to go to the galactic headquarters of the police and beat the crap out of all of them. And I was like, wow, you're messed up. And Vegeta even said she dislikes her using him as a intimidation tactic. So, apparently, it looks like they're going to travel to the center of the universe so it can boost the Dragon Radar so they can find, apparently, Super Dragon Balls on their own, even though I'm confused because if there is a... Oh, I guess since the Earth was destroyed, that means no Dragon Balls. But on the other hand, I thought those Dragon Balls were the Dragon Balls that they had in the other universe. I didn't know that there are such things as Dragon Balls that even the sixth universe had but because earth got destroyed they don't exist anymore but there's still super dragon balls which that doesn't make sense it's like what so i don't really know on that one i'm kind of a little bit like confused in the part of saying okay so a you're looking for the dragon ball that he said he they want to look for or b they're gonna look for dragon balls on their own so when Beerus wins, that means that whatever wish he makes, Boma can counter with the Dragon Balls that she has, which she is gun ho on stopping freaking Beerus when it comes to making a wish. Meanwhile, Goku wants to see that freaking tournament and also see the guy who is stronger than him, Manaka, and, well, yeah, it's kind of like, wow, so I guess it's going to be stretched into two parts. Me personally, it's like, a Boma, 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 listen, Boma. Those planets, those freaking Dragon Balls are planet damn sized. When you do find those, how the frick you gonna transport them? I don't see you actually saying, oh, we need to make a miniature ray gun so we can basically make shrink them to sizable, helpful <coughs> Dragon Balls you can hold. But even so, it means like the shriek ray most likely won't be a actual temporary it will be temporary thing you can't actually keep them small and then carry them around so i don't even know how the frick you're gonna even do those so that's where it comes to the point of boma just let it go all right those dragon balls are so damn big there is no freaking way you're gonna be able to lug them to like a discreet location because there's no way you're gonna be able to do that why because well even if you put them around earth and Beerus comes back. You think he's not going to actually see that there's more spears in the freaking damn sky of Earth? Yeah. Good job on that idea. So, I think Boma's idea is totally crappy. But the good news is that at least she did make the Super Dragon Radar. Or the Dragon Radar to actually read the Super Dragon Balls. But on the other hand, it's kind of like... If I did hear correctly, and they do have Super Dragon Balls in the 7th universe, well guess what, um, you fools, I mean, well basically Boma, you're an idiot for even thinking, hey, I can collect all 7 of them. 
because there's no freaking damn way you'll be able to do it. I mean, yes. Oh, I guess Goku can teleport it. Yeah, I guess he could teleport it to King Kai's place. I guess that might be one way to do it. Also, you can do it at Namek, the new Namek planet. I guess that could work too. So I guess it's not going to be like truly, truly horrible. But on the other hand, it's still the part of Boma. You can't hide anything from Beerus. Just don't try. Anyways, thank you for watching and the stay tuned. This is new stuff. And for the person who thumps this down, well, good job. You know how to thumb things down. Good for you, buddy. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.